Hello, 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 beloved. How you doing today? How's the universe treating you? It is Sunday today, but no matter when you see this timeless reading, you're right on time. Destiny has brought you here for a message that was meant for you. So include your energy, tap in. Take what resonates with you. Leave the rest for others who need to hear their message too and believe and receive. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are doing prosperous. I hope you're doing fine. It is sunny today. Beautiful outside here in the East Coast. Leave me a comment. How's it look in your neck of the woods today? Give me a yellow heart if it's sunny and bright. Give me a blue heart if it's rainy and cloudy. Give me a... Well, I don't think, wherever you'll be, I don't think it'll be snowing. <laughs> so yellow for sunny, blue for cloudy and rainy. Give me a red heart if no matter what the weather is, you're in the experience of love of joy, of happiness. You're focusing on the lighter and brighter side of things and not ruled by the emotions of the weather changes. Mm. I don't know why I'm feeling fire sign come through. <laughs> you may be Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Maybe you are not moved by the weather changes. You can thrive in all seasons. I know for myself, most fire signs I know like the cold weather. Maybe the hot weather is a little too much for their fire energy. They can wind down and relax in the winter or the fall seasons. If you're being heavily ruled by your emotions at this time, you may be a water sign. Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer. I almost forgot cancer. What's up with cancer? <laughs> um, Mercury retrograde and Venus is over as of today. So you will feel your energy lifted, your emotion tightened, no more oversensitivity, no more in your feelings, no more wondering, no more experiencing Constant reconnections about those you've walked away from. We're moving into a season of action, doing, checking on it, manifesting, harvest season, reaping the seeds we sow, calling in our abundance. We are focused on gain, family, friends, the holidays coming up, making plans already. Because the weather, the seasons are moving fast. Before you know it, it'll be Thanksgiving. Maybe, and this is not religious based, culturally based. It's the time family and friends can get together who don't see each other throughout the year and share. Good food, good laughs, good times, good memories. So don't be persuaded by those religious gurus. That celebrating a pagan holiday means that you're non-Jesus or whatever they call it. You are a human spiritual being experiencing a human spiritual life. And that includes sitting with family and friends, connecting, sharing, giving, receiving. And God does not put a date on that time. That can happen at any time of the year, including on days on the calendar, which are denoted for holidays. It is what it is. So be inclined to share and come together this holiday season with those you miss, those you haven't seen, those that deserve space and time in your energy. You've been busy all year. You've been oh, in hermit mode. Secluding, so also reevaluating, changing, and now you're ready to get back in the game. Let them see who you become. 
They're curious. They're waiting. Whether you know it or not, they're watching. They're talking. Yes, you are the center of, you are the topic. Whether or not you're in the room. But you know that, especially if you're a spiritualist. If you have a channel, if you're a reader. If you have a store, if you have products. If you're a motivational speaker, whatever you do. There are people talking about you. In rooms where you are not. Anxious to meet you. Anxious to work with you. Anxious to see what makes you click and keep pushing through the chaos, the hate, the evil intentions, and you still smile because you believe. And you know and you are connected to a higher, deeper source that inspires you. First card out, oh, we've got God Oris, H-O-R-U-S, he is the moon God. He is in my arsenal, right at the top, under Ra, the sun God. I keep them close in my energy. Ra is on my right, Horus is on my left. Isis in the middle. This is about stability and equilibrium. Horus governs the moon. It's a sign of the water, of the emotions, of the feelings, of the sensitivity, of the confusion, of the illusion. But it is all, the moon is also a symbol of heightened awareness, exposure, intuition. Things hidden in the dark, being seen through the moon shining and bringing light on a situation. Being tapped in. An empath. Stability and equilibrium. There's been a situation, a season in your life where you were unbalanced or things around you were unbalanced, unfair, unequal, a partnership or relationship. A job, a connection, you were putting in the work and seeing no rewards. There were evil intentions set against you to block you, to stop you. You may have lost. You may not have been in receipt of what you should have. Oris is coming in to bring stability and equality to your circumstances. Your situation, your life, your emotional stance. Balancing your emotions so you can see more clearly and not be blocked by the cloudiness of the confusion. Maybe you didn't get resolution. Maybe you don't know what happened, what went on. Maybe you are in the dark and wondering, waiting for a sign. This is it. I'm getting a lot of justice energy, Libra, balancing the scales, bringing fairness and equality to that emotional imbalance. Okay, I'm just, spirit is going in on me right now. It's use the body and do what they do. Maybe you are a water sign. Maybe you are tapped in with the moon. Maybe you are a night crawler and you like to be out in the evenings when the moon is high. Maybe you feel more energy then. You could wear Ankh symbol around your neck or a ring, an Ankh ring. You could have a mouse as a pet. That's for someone specific. Or a bird. Or you could like owls. 
resonate with the owl of the wise one. I see a lot of birds. Well, Oris is the bird. Birds may be your spirit, guys. Your spirit animal. They may come around your home or flock to you when you're outdoors. They are your protectors, your messengers. Pay attention to the birds. Someone recently got a pedicure. <laughs> Someone has a foot fetish. Whether well, it's for you or you do. Someone has taken professional dance in their early years and they still have that good posture. And you miss it. Maybe you've grown, you have children, and you've come out of it, but you think often about it. Whether you're elderly or not, I'm speaking to someone who may be using a cane recently, maybe from an injury or fall, or just like to use it. Your gentleman, if you have a staff or a cane, Did I not just say that I have Oris Heimless under Amin Ra? Did I not just say Amin Ra on the right or And look who pops out, y'all. Amin Ra. Number two. Unity, partnerships, balance. Flame, flame energy. Amin Ra, the sun. Is bringing you creation. You may be highly creative at this time, focusing on building multiple streams of income. The sun god is working with you. It is important to get out of nature when the sun is high to detox, to rejuvenate, to energize, to soak in that vitamin D. To have sun energy on your crown. I'm in the wild. We love the sun, God. You may be someone that loves the color of yellow. You could follow Goddess Oshun in the Ifa. Could love pelicans or live somewhere where there are pelicans in the water. Was a stork a pelican? You could be pregnant at this time or about to become pregnant or finding out that you are pregnant. Someone here loves monkeys. You may have a basket of fruit on your table. Harvesting season. Season of the pumpkin. Squashes. Again, you can have an ankh ring. You could also be transgender. That's specific for someone. We have two and we have nine. You could be born in February or September. You could be an Aquarius, a Pisces, a Virgo. Your life path number could be two or nine or 11. We have Nefti, number 10. We know that 10 is the number of completion, floating a cycle of the end. 
allowing new beginnings. Meditation brings new answers, new visions. You could astral travel in your dreams. You're beginning downloads and messages and prophecies in your dreams. You need to keep a dream journal by your bedside to make sure that you write down upon wake up exactly what you're going to remember. Your dreams are going to be very important at this time. Someone is closely connected to the ancestors. They could visit you in your dream state. They could help you travel and see other places and protect you as you go. Forgive me, but someone is on their menstrual cycle at this time watching this video. Someone is not glad they received it because they were trying to be pregnant. Spirit says, try, try, try again. If it doesn't happen, it's not meant to be for a reason you don't understand. When that child who is supposed to be here comes into your womb, it will be successful. You never know what God's plan is, but it's better than our own. Somebody could be on a diet right now using a scale to monitor your food. Spirit wants you to stop doing that. You're punishing yourself. There's a better way. I could speak, be speaking to a Reiki healer. Use your hands to heal. Someone could also know sign language. Someone loves bananas. Right now, your divine feminine guys who have passed over, they're the ones that are holding you up. They're the ones that are going to decide when this baby comes into the world. A divine blessing, a gift. To elevate your bloodline and not before. We have the number 36. Again, completeness. So now we have completeness twice here. You're definitely coming into an ending. Closing a cycle, walking away from something that didn't serve you. Moving into a new beginning, new possibilities. You could be 36 years old. We have nine twice here, so we have nine nine. 99. Number 9 could resonate with you. It could be your life path number. If so, you were definitely here to give, to heal, to inspire, to listen, to coach. I could be speaking to a divine masculine. Or feminine in your masculine energy at this time. I could be speaking to a woman that's postmenopausal and worried about the constant growing of hair, facial, and other places. Spirit says this will pass. Allow it to happen. Do not damage your skin trying to be beautiful for, okay, I'm going to stop right there on that one. Someone may be interested in going camping and wants to spend time outdoors in the woods to connect. Sabrina so says if that's you, that's a good idea. Very good idea. Before the weather gets increasingly poor and wet and rainy and you're unable to. Someone could live near ducks in a pond. Someone is a beautician.
Again, someone is very in tune and tapped in with owls. The wise one. Very flexible. Somebody here is very flexible. I don't know what that means, but that's what I see. <laughs> Maybe a yoga instructor or some sort. Someone when they were younger loved to play the loved to play the hangman on a paper, the hangman. Loves to draw. Someone is about to take a trip and go traveling. Someone has ended a twin flame soulmate connection. This was same sex, two women. I'm seeing a new friendship being born, possibly moving into a, a love connection later on. But spirit wants you to take your time to be friends first and not rush in. Someone is trying to give up smoking. You may be having some difficulty. You're being too hard on yourself, judging yourself. It's causing anxiety, which will cause you not to be able to stop. So be kind, be caring, be patient. You've already taken the steps to be able to want to stop. That's a big step. Take your time. You can do it. But don't judge yourself in the process. Spirit acknowledges your intentions. Someone goes to the gym and beats one of those bags to let out stress. Spirit says it's a good way to do it if you need to do it. And it's great exercise. We have 26 perseverance. You could be 26 years old, 62. This is number eight of abundance, fertility, growth. Persevere through the dark days. Send you sow seeds and when you don't see rewards coming in. Don't stop. Don't give up. Don't think that you're on the wrong path because you're not reaping your rewards in a timely manner. Persevere through the stagnation. The days where you feel unmotivated. Push through. Anything that leads you to your goal is not a burden. It's just part of the process. Stay dedicated and committed to standing in your truth. And don't be persuaded by others to try something or to stop what you're doing. Because naysayers will tell you that. Or why are you doing all that? You ain't making no money. It's not about the money when you work for the divine. Everyone will understand your script. It wasn't written for them. As you, I'm saying yoga. If you're having issues with your muscles, with your body, with your back, with your hips, you need to do some less strenuous exercise. Maybe you're taking on too much for your body. Spirit says, think about taking a yoga class. I see someone getting engaged. Someone is getting an engagement ring, a promissory ring. A gift. Someone lives on property. 
where they have to have a rifle, a gun, to protect your home. That's, I don't know what that means, but I see that. Someone possibly has had a UFO sighting recently and are afraid to speak up. Spirit tell, wants you to speak up because you're not the only one. Someone lays in bed all day watching TV, unmotivated. Yeah, get that up, sweetie. It's affecting your health mentally. Get outside amongst the trees and the sun. Someone has a new idea to do something that's never been seen before or you believe so and you're afraid of being laughed at or not being accepted. Spirit says you need to get out and do it because it was sent to you for a reason. It has to do with television and production. Maybe you wrote a book or a movie or something you don't believe that will be accepted. Spirit says, if you get out there, they're going to make a way for your for it to be seen. Is that it spirit for this set? That may be it for this set. Okay. That's it for that deck. We're going to pull just a couple of cards from my daily affirmation. My own oracle deck that I've created for your daily affirmation. Self-love and healing. You can find it on the website in the description box below. If you'd like a personal reading, you can send me emails in the box below. Love donations, PayPal, Cash App in the box below. You can also send me divination tools via Amazon wish list. Directly to my house with a love note. In the box below. <laughs> but please go ahead and like this video. Go ahead for a minute. and Take a minute and tap that like. Subscribe if you haven't. Join the family. Leave me a love comment. Are you, is this resonating? Is this your message? Are you receiving it well? Any more clarity? Hit me up. Okay, Spirit, what else do we have to say in closing to our beloved watching? Time of change upon you. Prosperity, love, new relationship, new connections, success, strength, courage. I am beautiful inside and out. Strength, courage, self-esteem on high, knowing that you are beautiful. God sees you as special, unique in your talents, your gifts, and your way. You have loving energy. I'm getting Queen of Cups, Queen of King of Cups. You may be a parent, a single parent. You take care of many others. I desire to be my best self and I strive for greatness. Every day, I shame. Life is what we make it. We don't worry. We don't, we're not ruled by fate. We make shit happen. We manifest. 
You take charge and ownership and accountability. You make moves. You sacrifice. I, the sacrifice, did I say this earlier? That anything towards your goals is not a burden? The sacrifices I make towards achieving my goals are not a burden. Synchronicity, confirmation. You have a goal, you have a project, you have a something you're interested in doing, something you want to give to the world, something that will fulfill you. Stepping into your purpose and living in your truth where you are being guarded by fear of failure, fear of success, fear of rejection. rejection. God says, um, it's time, beloved, to step in and get your feet wet, get your hands wet, get in the game. Put it out there. Put in the extra energy, the extra time. Map it out. While you do that 9 to 5, make sure you map out your desires, your goals. Build your lineage and your legacy. Your time is coming. A space is being opened up for you to achieve. So be ready. I will fight to live happy and free at all costs. Self-explanatory. Don't never let them see you sweat. Don't let the enemy trigger you, move you, distract you. Your haters are fans. Because they see something in you that they're envious and jealous of. The haters let you know that you are doing something great. On the right path, getting attention, putting in the work, being seen, being recognized. Keep going. Fight for your right to be happy, healthy, prosperous, and free every day. We live in the land of the free in this country, so there's no excuse for being bound or tied to anyone or anything. Eight billion people. Too many opportunities to experience newness. Betterments, elevation, expansion, too many countries to visit, explore, connect, unite. Life is what you make it, not what you wish it to be. Mm. Action is needed. Prayers are good to get that seed sowed, planted, but action and movement. Without it, there is no cause and effect. Thank you for tapping in. Thank you for hitting that like button. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for supporting, giving, donating, whatever you chose to do energetically. Thank you. Thank you for just being here and being with me through the video. If you have, that's Respect in itself. As within, so without. As above, so below. We reap what we sow. That reward comes from spirit because spirit is watching and taking stats. We reap what we sow. No less, no more. Don't live life playing the blame game. Just get in the game. And give it your all. Your Wishes will manifest. Enjoy the rest of this beautifully blessed day. Until we meet again. Have a great one, beloved. Ashe.